In the last lecture, we learned about different types of dependencies in NestJS and one of the dependency type was intermodular dependency. In an intermodular dependency, a component in one module depends on a component in another module. Here we have two modules, user module and tweet module. And in the tweet service, we want to use the user service of this user module. So as you can see, the tweet service of tweet module has a dependency on the user service of user module. And this is called as intermodular dependency. In this lecture, we are going to learn how we can implement intermodular dependency in NestJS. So in our NestJS application, if I go to the source folder, we have two modules. We have the tweet module and we also have this user module. Okay, now this user module, we have imported it in the app module, but this tweet module, we have not imported it in app module. So let's go to app module.ts and in the import array, let's also add the tweet module. Let's save the changes here. Now what I want to do is in the tweet controller, I want to create a method. I want to create a route. I want to create a get route. So for that, I'm going to use this get decorator. And here let's go ahead and let's create a method. Let's call it get tweets. And this get tweets, it is going to get the user ID. And it is going to get that user ID as a route parameter. So here I'm going to use this param decorator. There, let's specify the route parameter name. It is going to be user ID. Okay. And since we are going to get it as a route parameter, let's also specify it here. So here with this request, whatever request will come to this route, there we will also have a route parameter called user ID. Okay. And let's make it optional. All right. Now this user ID, what I'm going to do is this user ID should be an integer value. And by default, we are going to get a string value. What I'll do is I'll convert it to integer using this pass int pipe. And then I'm going to call it as user ID, which is going to be of type number. All right. So this route should handle any request which is coming to this endpoint. Let me copy it and let me paste it here. And we are also going to get a user ID in the route parameter, something like this. So any request which comes to this endpoint where this 101 can be any integer value that should be handled by this get route. Now what this get route should do, this get route should get all the tweets which the user with this user ID has made. So for that, let's go to tweet service.ts and in there, I'm going to create an array. I'm going to call it as tweets and this tweets is going to be an array where we will have the tweet text of type string, the date when that tweet was made. So let's set its type as date and also the user who has made this tweet. So I'm going to store the user ID of that user and this is going to be of type number and it is going to be an array of this type of object. And here I'm not going to create any DTO for this because here my main intention is to demonstrate how intermodular dependency can be implemented. After this section, we are going to work with database and start creating a real functional API. And there we will create all the required DTOs for all the routes. Here, I want to keep things simple and I want to explain how you can implement intermodular dependency in NestJS. And for that, I don't want to waste time creating DTOs and other things. So I simply want to keep things simple here. All right, in this tweets array, let's go ahead and let's create some tweets. And here, let's change the type to string with S in uppercase and this number to number with N in uppercase. And in this way, let's go ahead and let's create two more tweets. Okay, so here we have a tweet array, which is containing three tweets. Two of the tweets are made by the user with user ID one, and one of the tweet is made by user with user ID two. Now, let me go ahead and let me create a method here and let's call it get tweets. And this method here, it is going to get the user ID 
of type number okay and from here for now let's simply go ahead and let's return maybe 100 some value okay just to test whether the route is working or not let me save the changes let's go to the terminal and let's see if we have any errors as you can see we do not have any error let's go to postman and before that let's copy this endpoint which will be handled by this get tweets method so here let me go and let me paste it and if i click on the send button it says that it cannot find the route let's check why is that so if i go to tweetcontroller.ts here we have the get tweets okay let's say return and here let's go ahead and let's call the tweet service which we are injecting so as you can see here we are injecting the tweet service on that we have a method called get tweets and to that let's pass the user id which we are receiving as the route parameter so from here we are calling the get tweets and to that we are passing the user id so this get tweets it should return us this value 100 and whatever we are returning from here that should be returned from here as well let me save the changes again let's go to postman let's try to make the request one more time and still we are getting this error so for some reason this route is not getting called so we are missing something here let's see what is that and it might be because of this slash which we are adding here let's save the changes let's go back to postman and let's make the request again and now we are getting the response as 100 which we are sending from our tweet service all right now instead of sending this 100 in the response what i want is i want to filter all the tweets from this tweet survey where the user id is equal to the user id which we are receiving for this get tweets method as its parameter and for that we can simply say this dot tweets which is our array dot filter so basically i am filtering the tweet objects using this filter method let's say t such that t dot user id so if you see for each tweet object we have this user id property so for whichever tweet its user id is equal to the user id which we are receiving here as the parameter to this get tweets we want to filter all those tweets and we want to return it in the response with this let's save the changes and if i go to postman and now if i make a request here we will not get any tweets because we don't have any user with this user id 101 if i go back you will see that we have three tweets out of those three tweets the two tweets are made by the user with user id 1 and one tweet is made by the user with user id 2 we don't have any tweet which is made by the user with user id 100 right so that's why we are not getting anything in the response but if i change it to one and if i send the request now a get request now you see we are getting two tweets in the response and if i change it to two we should get one tweet in the response as you can see now here in the response instead of showing the user id let's say i want to show the user name who has made that tweet so for that the user names are present in our user service if I go to user service.ts, there we have three users with the user ID 1, 2, and 3. And we also have the name for the user, email for the user, and other details. So basically, now what I want is I want to access this user service in this tweet service. And based on the user ID, I want to get the user details. And from that user detail, I want to fetch the user name. And that I want to show in the response. For that, what we will have to do is we will have to inject an instance of user service in this tweet service. But this user service is present in the user module. Okay. And tweet service is present in tweet module. So we cannot directly access the user service from user module in the tweet service in tweet module. For that, what we will have to do is since we want to access this user service outside of the user module we will go ahead and we will have to export it for that we can use the exports property here and whatever we want to export from the user module 
we can specify it here here i want to export the user service and when we are exporting this user service from the user module this user service can be imported in other modules okay so whenever you export a provider a service from a module then only it becomes available for other modules also you need to remember that you cannot export a controller you can only export a provider a service always remember that providers are those classes which are decorated with at injectable decorator in this case this user service it is decorated with this at injectable decorator so this user service is a provider so you can export a provider from a module let's save the changes in this file and since we have exported this user service now we can import this user service in other modules also there is no limitation on how many providers you can export from a specific module and here you have a full control over which services should be available only in this module in this case in this user module and which services should be exported to be used in other modules here in the exports array you only add those services which you want to use in other modules now in order to use this service in the tweet module what we need to do is we need to go to tweet module and there we need to import user module remember that we need to import user module and not the user service so you export a service but when you want to use that service in another module you need to import the module from where you are exporting that service so here we can add another property called imports in this tweet module where we want to import the user service and this is going to be an array and here you can specify which module you want to import here again here we need to import the module from where we are exporting the user service and we can't import the user service directly we can inject a user service as a dependency but for that we need to import the module from where we are exporting the user service so in the import array we are going to specify the user module we want to import the user module from where we are exporting the user service so always remember that you only import a module in another module you do not import just the service from a module you can dependency inject a service but you cannot import it directly and from the imported module only those services will be imported which has been explicitly exported from that module here when we are importing this user module from the user module we are only exporting user service let's say if we have any other service which we are not exporting then those services will not be available in the module where we are you know where we are importing the user module so only those services which we are exporting from here only those will be available in the module where we are importing it hope this point is clear and now since we have imported this user module in this tweet module now we can also go ahead so let me close this user module.ts file let me save this tweet module.ts file and let's close it and now we can also go ahead and inject the user service in this tweet service for that let's go ahead and let's specify a constructor here and here let's say private read only and let's specify a name let's call it user service and this is going to be of type user service and to use this user service in this tweet service we need to import it from this file and let's make this s in uppercase all right so in this way now we are able to inject an instance of user service in the tweet service and now we are going to use that user service in this method so the first thing which i'm going to do is here let's create a variable let's call it user and now from the user service i'm going to call get user by id method and there i'm going to pass this user id so this will return us the user with that user id and here we have an error and it says number is not assignable to parameter of type number let's go to user service.ts and there we have 
get user by id let's change it to uppercase n let's save the changes let's go back to tweet service all right so in this way we will get the user basically the user details with that user id and then we are filtering all the tweets which that user has made using the user id so i'm also going to store that in a variable and i'll say tweets you can name it anything okay and now from here what i want to return is let me create an object here i'll say i'll call it response so for the response what i'm going to do i'm going to loop over the tweets array so for that let's say tweets dot map using this map method i'm going to loop over each tweet object and for each iteration let's call that tweet object as t so here we will say t such that and from here i want to return an object in which i want to have the text so we, that we will get from t dot text i want to have the date that we will get from t dot date okay and then i want to have a name the username and that we can get from this user object right so here i'll say user dot name and this is what i want to return from here i want to return this object where we will have the tweet text the date when the tweet was created and the name of the user who has made that tweet and here since we are using a curly braces it is thinking that here we are writing the body so let me again wrap it like this and then from here let's use the return keyword all right with this let's save the changes let's go to postman and now if i send the request we don't see anything in the response let's see why is that we don't have any error also okay that's because we are not returning anything from here so we need to return the response which we have created okay let's save the changes now let's go back to postman let's send the request and now you can see in the result we have the text of the tweet the date when the tweet was created and the name of the user who has created this tweet so if i go to user service there if we check the username with the user id2 you can see the name is mark and that's what we are seeing in the result so in this way here in the tweet service we are making use of this user service which is present in another module the tweet service is present in tweet module and user service is present in user module and in this way we have implemented intermodular dependency this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day